everybody. Welcome to Giraffe Town. Man, I have been so excited to play a game in my life. And I mean, like, looking at a video game on YouTube and just wanting to play it. Okay, I'll turn this up a little bit. So, I'm gonna click on New Game, and we're gonna do this. Uh, no. It's just click. Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is insane, though. Like, look at this! This game, I only got it for $3. And I've only played, like, the first part of it. Like, I just got the soccer ball, like, ran him back. And that was basically it. Other than that, I have... Well, I kind of know what to expect since I've seen gameplay of it, but I haven't gotten past that point. And yes, we are going to watch the cutscenes, the extremely little cutscenes of the game. And I'm just going to read what they say, curse word or not, so viewer discretion is advised, this is a written game. Giraffe's just sitting on a bench, looking at love. My name is Giraffe. The end. It rolls to the credits. I was born with slippery feet. Dot dot dot. Excuse me, mister. Hey, mister! I need your attention! I'm gonna play in the living room since it's uh, less noisy. Who said that? Uh, look behind you, dude. There's a guy right behind you. Over here, behind you! See, I told you. Also, this is a horror game. So if you like a little mix of horror plus weird trippiness, this is your style of game. What do you want, kid? I'm trying to do the intro for the game here. Fourth wall breaking already. Intro for the game? Yeah, you know, like, give some backstory about my character. Uh, okay, so, he named himself Giraffe, and he's a giraffe. I mean, his name is Giraffe, and he named him Giraffe. That's like if your mom named you Human, and you're human. Like, what the heck? Can you please help me with something, mister? Okay, fine. Make it quick. Look at my slippery feet. I'm gonna slap you with them. Can you get my ball for me? Oh, I would love to get your balls for you. I kicked it all the way over there. Oh, it's a soccer ball. Maybe, bro. If it was a football, I would have gotten it for you, but since this is a soccer ball, I changed my mind. I'm too afraid to get it myself. It's really dark out, and I don't like the dark. Why are you even here at this park this late at night? Wait, this is a park? Why are you over there standing at the fence? He's gonna be like, wait, this is a fence? Turn around and face me. How does he not know this is a park? He lost his ball. He was obviously going to play. So, like, he, what the heck? He's just fine with looking at the fence. If you want me to get your ball, turn around and talk to me. I think it's a metaphor because the giraffe is spotted. And the soccer ball is also spotted. But the lore in this is insane. Like, this is actually a good story. Ah, where the hell is your face? Uh, well, I'm not really an important character in the game. So my face wasn't designed. This is really just a tutorial level. I love how they explain that. And also, um... The subtitles said shit on Giraffe Town. I just thought it was funny because I thought it was the YouTuber saying shit. But no, it was actually in the game. Okay, so our mission is to get his ball, and we can finally play. It's gonna be one heck of a ride. Okay. Alright, you can do this, no big deal. This is pretty difficult. 
trying to balance. Because you got to use A, W, S, and D. This is. I'm playing this on my laptop. Okay. Careful. And this is the tutorial. If you think this level is hard, you're going to have a hard time playing the uh, actual part because there's a very long road part to this game. But the story is actually insane. It's actually really good. Okay, grab the ball. And we go back. Luckily, you spawn back here if you die. That would have been a pain. They expected you to get the ball. Crap! Doing fine. Luckily, you could just respawn. This might be a 10 part video series. I have no idea. It's supposedly a short game, but you gotta have some good platforming skills. Okay, come on. It's so smoky, what the heck? Shit! Yeah, that's right, a board fell. Don't fall into the ickiness. So far, so good. I think the rest you can just walk through. Please don't fall. I'm trying to be extra careful. Okay. Oh gosh. And boom! We made it back. I knew I could do it! I got your stupid ball, bro. Why'd you make me cross that bridge? Like, it would suck to be in this town. Whoa! I fell into an abyss once, so now I'm gonna throw the soccer ball into the abyss! Dude, like, slow motion in this game is intense. Look at that. I think the ball's gonna pop. It's funny, because the soccer ball is never mentioned again. You don't get the ball. <laughs> My ball! Oh, fuck. And it's hilarious because <laughs> it's like, what the heck? Some of the messages in this game, you're not going to like the ending. I will just say that. <laughs> the ending is terrible. The messages that they're trying to run across, it's terrible. It's so dark. If you like dark humor, this is your game. Holy crap. Way to go, jackass. <laughs> what are we having? A staring contest? You don't have eyes. I like how I love how dead inside he looks. Like he's just ready to give up because he lost the soccer ball. And like the most of the game is like him trying to find love. Which, that's a metaphor in itself. Like, he's gotta cross town to find love. Snow Cones Productions Prison. I think that's what it said. No, I think it was, uh... What's his name? Salib? Salib or Khatib? He has a weird name. But he was the only one that worked on this game. Which is pretty impressive. The same or... Yeah. Samer Khatib game. Like the credits say, directed by Samer Khatib. Produced by Samer Khatib. Written by Samer Khatib. Animations by Samer Khatib. It's like... It, it's well. And, and the fact that he's making bank off this... Three dollars a pop? The noises in this game are... You're kind of disturbing, too. They're just kind of eerie. Here I am. Sitting on a couch. Waiting for the perfect, uh, butt scratcher to use. Oh yeah, I can use my remote. How weird is hands are, too. 
Nick through the bottom of the road with the obvious. It's not like anything exciting ever happens anyway. That's not a way up in the deck. Have you been outside? Like, look outside. And I really can't do much with these stupid, slippery beats. Can't you just, like, walk on his hands or something? That would be an impressive hidden talent by Giraffe. I'm eating crackers right now, so sorry if I don't respond on my, on my ass. That was not in the game. That was in real life. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for world pa famous pop musician. this yeah, like it's speaking of giraffe he's got his eyes wide open on my other side of town. But her other side of town was probably not the same as Giraffe's other side of town. It will be here at the other side of town. I like how it's like a place because it's capitalized. I'm very excited to hang out with all my wonderful fans. See you soon. Bye bye. Love is coming. Too bad I can't go. Dumb feet. I wish I could go. This might be the only chance ever to meet her. You gotta get back up. You heard what Love said? Get back up, yeah. Get back up. Wait. You know what? I'm sick of this game. I I'm gonna crap my non existent pants. If I fall, all I gotta do is get back up, yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah you go, drop. Stick a knife in it. Go. Get back up. Follow your dream. You gotta find love on the other side of town. Oh, no. <laughs>
Notice how 15 minutes have gone by and we've only done the tutorial. <laughs> Alright. So, there's a pretty funny thing that you can do um, if you go outside, you stop. The phone is ringing. Who would be calling me at this time? I could go back and answer. Or I could just ignore it and keep going. See, what you're supposed to do is keep going. But if you go back inside, uh, you answer the call and then go outside. Check this out. Hello? 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 It's phone guy. Is anyone there? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? I want to hear, like, a phone guy, like, record lines for this. That would be amazing. Because there's no... You don't hear any dialogue. You just see dialogue. We're outside of your house right now. What? Who is this? Hello? We are watching you. Very funny. I don't have time for this. Bye. Don't. If you hang up, we will kill you. threat from a stranger that we don't know besides the call that we're inhabiting right now who is this shut up do as we say or this will happen right now it is 9 p.m it's actually 10 23 p.m where i'm at we'll wait inside of your house until midnight if you try to leave your house, we will kill you. If you try calling the police, we will kill you. We will call you back in three hours for further instructions. Or we will kill you. The portal of the beast opens at midnight. That sounds awesome, right? The portal of the beast? What? What do you want from me? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Timer at the right. We're supposed to wait till uh, midnight, but if we go outside, there's this van. A mysterious van. Whose car is this? The car is on, but there's nobody inside. The door is locked. This wicked man come out and kill you! Oh my gosh! The funny thing is, these guys are never mentioned again after this. Stupid horse. They kind of look like giraffes. Oh my god, excuse me, I am a giraffe. They just walk up and start punching them or they kick you. Twilight Zone, into the house. Billy unknown in the platoon under moon and star Where we go now that we gone so far it's been a long <laughs> Oh that actually scared me I wasn't expecting that I was not expecting that yeah we're gonna get to I was actually not expecting that jump scare that was way too long <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna cross the road and not answer the phone. Sometimes it's a little glitchy, so try to take my time. It says stop, just keep on. And this road is so long. It's so long. Yeah, keep going. Okay, and the worst part about this is there's like so much fog, so you gotta be like careful, watch out for the holes, and you got slippery feet. Watch out. I don't know how much of the Xbox game bar can record, but uh, I'll try to record. Um, to an hour and a half 
If that doesn't work, then I'll split it up into three 30 minute parts. My gosh. I, I gotta take it slow, especially since, um. First of all, this is the first time I'm crossing this road. Second of all, it's a long road. And third of all, I just don't wanna fall. Okay, keep going. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, going, going. Oh, take it easy. Take it easy. No. Where's your blinker? Like, this is Giraffe Town. Who the frick designed this road? And I love how there's just one road in Giraffe Town. Flip. Checkpoint. Oh my gosh. I don't know how many checkpoints there are, but this is so freaking dangerous. No. I mean, if you die, you go back to the checkpoint, but you only have five hearts. So you gotta use them sparingly. And there's even rain. That appears later on. Here comes the rain. I'll wash out the spider. When you get on my plane. Please get to the next checkpoint before dying. I don't wanna die. Not today. I don't wanna die. Play some karate. I don't wanna die. Not today. Gotta meet love on the other side. Like, this is messed up, bro. You don't really see the holes until they get into focus. Okay. Scoot along across. Uh, there's so many pebbles. Why? Why is there so many pebbles in the distance? If this is anything like the gameplay I've seen, I am in for hell. Is that another checkpoint? Let's go. So I've reached two checkpoints without dying. No, it's raining. Okay, a little bit. Oh, that was scary. I'm so focused right now. I look at the street. probably going so slow since my laptop sucks, but I'm just going slow. 